Previously on MasterChef, oh under each mystery box is a different fish. James, what'd you get? The mackerel. It's one of the most difficult fish out there. I think I'm gonna have Grant switch his striped bass with James mackerel. <laughs> you don't look like a big catfish lover. No. You put it on the plate without tasting it. Yes. You've actually nailed that catfish. Congratulations. Wait. Well, I just freaking won immunity? That is not how you would use a mackerel. The couscous tastes like a mimosa. The fish is cooked twice as long as it should have been. The home cook leaving MasterChef is James. Okay. Tonight, the top ten welcome a MasterChef champion, Chelsea Murphy, whose NFL stadium food fuels fans of the Indianapolis Colts. Your challenge is to elevate stadium food. Wayne, you'll get a chance to give one of them a timeout for five whole minutes. The gloves are off, right? With a quarter of a million bucks at stake? Yes, sir. See if you got your dad's instincts. Look. Oh, my God. Flag goes Timeout. Oh, Moment of truth. Oh, this is such a mess. It is chaos down there. She's going home. Didn't see that one coming. <sighs> Let the games begin. Top ah. 10. This is going Come to be on. fun. Touchdown. Yes. Competitive. Here we go. Top 10. Welcome back, guys. Let's go. Okay. Come All on right. down. Oh. All right. Huh. Okay. I see some football. <laughs> All right. We got a goal post. What does that mean, though? Hell yeah. Top 10 feels amazing. Welcome back, everybody. I'm the last person here representing the Northeast, and I'm really proud to represent my region. But the pressure is so high, and I need to show the judges that I deserve to be here. Welcome to the top 10. Come on, give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> the top 10 of MasterChef, all of you, is in a very exclusive club, let me tell you. And tonight, we have a very special guest joining us. She used her success from this competition to launch her dream career. All of you, please welcome the winner from season 11, Kelsey Murphy, everybody. Hello. Great to see you. Hello. Oh, my goodness Hi, guys. me. Hello. Oh, welcome back. Thank you. Lizzie. I mean, seriously, biggest smile. You look like a Cheshire cat when Kelsey walked in. What's going through your mind? I watched your season. I fell in love with you. You were incredible to watch. You were such an inspiration. And I, I can't believe that I'm getting to stand in front of you today. Thank you. My life is 100% different than it was two years ago. I'm living proof that you can do whatever you want with this experience. I love that. I love it. Yeah. Thank awesome. you. Kelsey has really used the MasterChef platform as an amazing springboard to new culinary adventures. Just under two years, the success you've had is off the charts. You have an amazing contract at the Lucas All Stadium, home to the NFL Indianapolis Colts. It's there where you've taken traditional stadium food to new heights with an exciting elevated menu. Wow. Wow. Kelsey, give us an insight to some of the dishes that you make on that menu back home. So guys, I do a high quality take on game day food. So this is a 100% Wagyu beef hot dog. Wow. <laughs> Caramelized onions, we have a Dijonese, and then some chives over top. Ooh. Before I brought this to the stadium, the only thing you could get was a plain hot dog and mustard or ketchup. So you guys from the Midwest, you know exactly what I'm talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Cuban sandwich. This is a slow roasted pork, Swiss cheese, some really spicy pickles, and the people go crazy for it. We cannot keep these in stock. And last, we have my Asian sticky wings. They have a little bit of heat and then topped with those sesame seeds and scallions. It's perfect. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, just like Kelsey does with her stadium food, you will need to cater to the average sports fan while bringing something new and interesting to the table. And we want to celebrate and elevate your local region and make sure that it's MasterChef worthy. There is not a lot of stadiums in Alaska. I don't eat a lot of stadium food. I'm a little worried about this challenge. You'll have one hour 
to cook your elevated stadium food dishes. Now, Wayne, tonight you have a big advantage. Okay. You'll get a chance to give a penalty. <laughs> Whenever you like, you can choose one home cook who will receive a time out oh, wow. for five minutes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Wow. Hold on to this. Carefully, you're going to hey, need it. There you go, wide receiver. Play that penalty wisely. Understood? Understood, Chef. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, let me tell you. <laughs> because whoever cooks the best dish tonight will earn the immunity pin. You'll be safe from elimination tonight, and you'll earn a game-changing advantage in the next challenge. Sadly, whoever cooks the worst dish will be eliminated. Right, is everyone ready? Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Wayne, you ready? I'm ready, Chef. Your 60 minutes starts now. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. All right, all right. All right. Let's start it. All right. All cabbage right. and carrots. That's a big ass piece of cabbage. Okay. All right, bud. Let's do this. Apple cider. I'm very familiar with stadium food. I was a cheerleader in high school, and now my boys play football. We have been to countless football games, and I am so excited about this challenge because we get to put a very elevated spin on it and kind of shake things up a little bit. Uh, Wayne, big decision to make tonight. Who are your threats out there? What's your strategy? I've got four competitors my eye is going to be on, uh, Grant, Colby, Kennedy, and Jennifer. The gloves are off, right? In a competition with a quarter of a million bucks at stake, yes, sir. Gloves are off today, 100%. All right. We're making sure that you don't go anywhere for a minute. So New Orleans is known for their tailgates. Uh, you don't just go to a tailgate and just have some burgers. You have a crawfish, you might have some fried fish. So I'm making seafood sliders. I'm using lobster and crab meat with the shrimp. I am pretty excited about what's about to happen today. Pancetta, just in case. What are you making? I'm gonna do a lemongrass sausage from scratch. Damn, lemongrass, you are going crazy flavors. I sure am. I'm pretty excited about today's challenge. Football is pretty hitting close to home for me today. My dad is Thornton Chandler, and he played for the Dallas Cowboys, so we went to a lot of Dallas Cowboy games growing up. So today I'm making a Texas patty melt, and I think I can knock this one out of the park, but Wayne has the advantage right now, and I was in the top with him last challenge, so I'm a little worried he might come over here with that yellow flag, so. <laughs> How's it going, Grant? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. All right. Not getting too fancy today, are you? Just fancy enough, I think. All right. So right now, I'm going to go for king crab hush puppies. King crab is my absolute favorite. I've actually eaten it fresh right out of the ocean in Nome, Alaska. And I cook with Alaskan king crab quite a bit. Last challenge, while my fish came out good, everything else wasn't so hot. So I'm hoping for a little redemption today. Seven minutes gone, 53 minutes remaining. So tonight's a big deal. Kelsey, you remember the top 10. Yeah. What did it mean to you? It's such a huge accomplishment to get to the top 10. Sure. But this is where you don't want to let off the gas. No. All right, let's go. Elevated stadium food, but plated, right? Mm. So we can't just get a burger. I think this is an easy challenge where they have too much fun and they forget that we're looking for something elevated. You want to read a menu and say, oh, I know what that is. Sure. And then when they taste it, they go, oh, that's different. Glamorous, but comfort. Yeah. OK. This challenge, although it appears simple and obvious, it really requires a lot of creativity to win you that immunity pain. Absolutely. So the flag, the timeout scenario with yeah. Wayne. I think this is a very interesting moment for Wayne to really show how his competitive nature is going to play within the whole context of the competition. Yeah, exactly. Especially if there's anyone using a pressure cooker tonight because you need every minute you can get with that pressure cooker. I see a couple of pressure cookers out there already. Ah, oh, beautiful. Today I'm making a pulled pork barbecue sandwich with a blackberry barbecue sauce and a tangy slaw. 
Normally when I make this, we have it outside in the smoker where it can cook and marinate all day long. But today, cooking with this pork in a pressure cooker is going to take 50 minutes to get it done. There is no room for error here. Oh man, Jennifer, you haven't even started the pressure cooker yet. Come on, Lord, come on, Lord, come on, Lord. Come on. I mean, Grant's got steam. Jennifer just turned her burner on. Wow. All right, chef. Uh, this cook, I'm gonna freeze it right now. Okay, Wayne, where are we going? Flag goes to. Oh. All right, chef. Uh, this cook, I'm gonna freeze it right now. Okay, Wayne, where are we going? Flag goes to Jennifer. Time out. Oh. Jennifer, stop what you're doing. Stand still. Five minute timeout. This is the absolute worst time for this to happen. I did not think that the target would be on my back today. All I can do is try to think of what to do next so I can stay in this game. No, the pressure cooker. It's not even on. It's yet. not even on. Mm -hmm. Oh my. She might have goodness. to change her strategy. What you could do is you could slice it well, very, thin. very thin. Yes, absolutely. Hot sauce. Okay, Jennifer, get ready. Your time restarts now. I have to work double time in order to catch up and make up for this penalty. I have to get it into the pressure cooker, turn that baby on high, and get this going as fast as I can. You got this day. Thank you, friend. I'm refusing to let someone take this dream away from me right now. Grant, you're not making tacos. No, I'm not. I'm making tatellas, Wayne. OK. I'm making lobster roll today. It's New England stadium food, that is what we do best. I have not had the immunity pin yet, and I'm hoping that this little lady and I can bring that home tonight. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot that. All right, MD. Hello, Chef. How's it going? Great, great, great. So how are you interpreting stadium food? So when you go to sporting events or any huge event, you want dessert. So I'm actually making baked cake donuts. What? Um, so I have a donut business back in Maui. I mean, I wish I could make my brioche donuts, but that takes about a couple of days to make. So I'm going to make a cake quick version of it. So but we call you MD. That stands for Madam Donut. It's Madam and tonight donut. we get to taste the first donut from the Madam. Yes. But right. remember, this has to be elevated. So Absolutely. we're looking forward to it. Thanks, MD. Thank you so much. I'm feeling a little bit insecure. If I don't deliver today making donuts in the MasterChef kitchen, how embarrassing that would be. So I really hope I nail this. I forgot how much added sugar this needs. All right. You season that real good, Kennedy? It needs a lot of seasoning, oh, sausage. I know, baby. Today I am making a lemongrass homemade pork sausage bon mi. My school bus is always parked um, on one of these main streets in Denver that's right by all the Vietnamese culture, and this just reminds me of Denver, totally. Oh, sorry, bud. So this is Lizzie from Alaska. Right. Hey, Hello. Lizzie. Now, in Alaska, do you guys, ha do you guys have stadiums there? Like, what do no. we got going on? So our closest stadium is in Seattle. So I'm actually kind of taking some inspiration from the local food trucks that we awesome. have in the yes. area. OK, tell right. us the dish. Where we go? Um, we are going for king crab hush puppies with some sweet potato chips. So how are you going to elevate this? You've got king crab in there, one of the most expensive crab meats anywhere in the world. Okay, you don't want to hide it. I've got a lot of beautiful herbs I'm going to add into it. So Good. I'm hoping it pays off tonight. Someone is going home. Focus, yeah. elevate. All right, listen, good luck, yeah? Thank you. Okay, come on. All right, talk to us a little bit about this idea of stadium food. This is a very important challenge for me because my dad did play in the NFL, and so we went to a lot of games. So I'm doing a Texas toast patty melt with caramelized onions. Is that just a fancy way of saying burger? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it elevated enough, Colby? Um, I try to do my best with the plating. I'm going to add some flavor to that. All right, let's see if you got your dad's instincts. Uh, there right. you go. Okay. Hi. Uh, 
Jennifer, first of all, I didn't see that coming. I did not either. No, I expected that to go to someone else. Take it as a compliment. Do not let it derail you. You know what? I gave up 13 years having yeah. babies, and it's my time to be able to chase my dreams. Okay, tell us, what's the dish? I'm making a pulled pork sandwich with my special blackberry barbecue sauce. Did you cut the cubes smaller for I, Pivot? I, yes, minus I cut five it. Minutes. I seared them so they're in there. Okay, Thank good luck. 30 minutes to go. So Halfway, much. yes? Appreciate good you. Focus, yes. Come on. You got this. You got this, Grant. Guys, with 30 minutes gone, 30 minutes remaining. Girl, you better cook. You better act like your grandma was in that kitchen telling you what to do. Come on, baby. Uh, this is intense. So, Jennifer, I got the penalty flag thrown at her. She's still doing a pull pork sandwich. I'm seriously worried about that pork getting cooked in time. Even if it gets done, is it going to be well seasoned enough? Mm. But if she opens and it's not cooked and she doesn't have another option, she's going home. Oh, Lord. No, we don't like that. So Lizzie's playing to her strength again. She's taking some Alaskan king crab and she's doing this elevated hush puppy. Uh, she's got one of the most expensive crab meats anywhere in the world, and she's sticking that inside of hush puppies. It's bizarre. I'm really worried about Lizzie, to be very honest. Yeah. Should I make candy sprinkles? I should. MD, Madam Donut. What's she cooked? A donut. For the first time. Madame Donut is cooking a donut. First time we've yeah. seen a donut from her. But hold on, but you can't get a yeast batter done in 60 no, no, minutes. No, no, she's doing a cake donut. A donut needs to be fried, not baked. I'm so it's sorry. It's a matter of opinion. But is a donut stadium enough? I argue that it is. I serve cookies. Well, I'm amazed that someone's gone down the dessert route tonight. Yep. Trust me. Courageous. Perfect. Come on. Coldy should be right at home, okay? His dad played professional yeah. football. He's making a patty melt. Okay, but my question for you, is a patty melt elevated enough? Oh, my God. 40 minutes gone, just under 20 minutes to go, guys. Speed up, come on. Oh, God. Oh, my God, I'm so far behind. I'm very worried because the clock is ticking and I still have to get my patties on. I have done nothing with my slaw. What do I need to do? I need to figure out this slaw. Oh my God, I am losing my mind here. The judges really have high expectations for me because I've grown up on stadium food. So I'm really feeling the pressure. Okay, I need to calm my ass down. This is my first time in the MasterChef kitchen where I feel like I'm losing it. Let's go. And remember, elevate stadium food to MasterChef worthy dishes. <sighs> Man, it is chaos down there. I get them burgers on, Colby. That's really all I got to worry about. Oh my gosh. Man. Oh. Perfect. <sighs> Guys, just under 15 minutes to go. Bryn. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Thanks. So you're going down the lobster route. For sure. I'm making lobster roll today. I have clarified butter with some of the shell, um, some tarragon and garlic. And then I have saved this one beautiful claw. I'm going to give it a really light tempura fry at the end. How did you cook the lobster? I boiled it. How long? I would say it was just about like five, six minutes until it got that's the color right. I was looking for. And then you took it out, and that's in the pan there. That's in the pan. Be careful not to dry it out. So I think your elevation is going to come by way of the temporing. Yeah, that's the problem. If you can pull that off. not easy. Make sure it tastes good. Good luck. All right. Okay, they shrunk up a little bit. I gotta get this together. Woo! Hi, Sal. There's a lot going on here. What are you doing? So I'm doing a slider trio. We're wow. gonna have a burger with pimento cheese and a fried green tomato. Uh -huh. We're gonna do a barbecue chicken with uh -huh. a chow chow and an nice. Alabama white barbecue sauce. Wow. And like... then doing a shrimp po' boy. In an hour's time? Yes, chef, yeah. and it's actually working good. I'm in a good place somehow. You're going for it today. Yes, ma'am, I want to impress you. You're here you. to impress, I, I can tell. Impress. Put them together with finesse. Good luck, yes. Sav. Good Thank luck. you, you so this. much. Thank you. Stay focused. You got it. Oh, my god. This is not coming out the way I wanted to. Man, 
Grant is always doing so much. Too much. Grant! Gentlemen, how are we doing today? How are you? Happy, sad today? What mood are we in? I'm super happy. I, happy. Uh, All right, as, soon as, as soon as I found out what we were doing, I had a really great idea of what I wanted to do. So the dish is a elevated pulled pork nacho. So um, I'm making tatellas here, which are basically going to be a stuffed corn masa uh, stuffed with cheese and pulled pork with a queso blanco and two different salsas. OK, you feel you have enough time to get that pork nice and tender? I do. Uh, I have that masa dough ready to go. Can make some beautiful tetelas. I, I, I'm really kind of concerned. Tetela is very challenging to do from a technical standpoint. So if you're able to nail the tetelas perfectly, then you have something to work with. All right, good thank luck. you. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. This is a big undertaking today. I know I have a lot of different components in what I'm doing, but I think at this point in the competition, it's all about taking risks, and it's really showing the judges that I'm willing to put something on the plate that they haven't seen from me yet. I'm all Two more minutes. Nice. Oh, you are so dry, bread. How's that chicken, Sav? Good? It's good. So Sav's going down the line of a, almost like a, a sort of triple slider. She's doing a barbecue chicken, a sort of tiny little beef pate, and the third one is a shrimp. Sounds a little too complicated, right? Yeah, just focus on one. This is insane. Grant is taking a trip to Mexico, especially Oaxaca. He's going to try to recreate a tetela, which is a little enwrapped masa bundle. And he's going to put some pork in there. You know, that dish seems simple, but any kind of stuffed dough like that, you have to get the dough thoroughly cooked. Does he have the cultural experience in Mexican cuisine to be able to actually execute that? Is he biting off more than he can chew? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, come on. Guys, five minutes to go. Start thinking about your plating. Does that work? OK, so get that ready. Guys, look. Moment of truth. If that pork's not cooked with five minutes to go, she's going home. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Guys, here we go. Jennifer. Moment of oh. truth. If that pork's not cooked with five minutes to go, she's going home. Okay. Here we go. She. Hallelujah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There you go. It looks cooked. I'm amazed. Perfect. My pork is beautiful. Not stopping me here today. That immunity pit is mine next. We have 60 seconds to go. Ooh. Look at those. Come on, Colby. Think about all your components. Oh, this is such a mess. One stunning portion. Ew, that is terrible. Let's go, Lizzie. This is not working. That is terrible, too. Uh -uh. Oh, oh. Five, four, three, two, one. That's Stop, it. hands in the air. I am so disappointed in myself. You're good. You're good, bro. I'm going home. That was hard. I mean, I was so worried that that pork was not going to be shreddable, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Even with that five minutes taken away from me, I'm coming for you. I wouldn't expect anything less, Jen. Right, all of you, well done. Tonight's task was to elevate stadium food like no other. Now it's time to take a much closer look at all your dishes, shall we? Brin. So we have our lobster roll. Why sweet potatoes? I just wanted to grab something that would maybe be like a little bit earthy. Interesting. Mm, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. MD, what do we got? Very, very cake donuts. Very professional. Thank you so much. This was a hard challenge because once you make it to the top 10, things start getting tougher and tougher each time. Sav, so, uh, a lot going on here. Yes, Chef. Mm. Thank you. Everybody's dish looks amazing. And I'm looking down at my dish, and I am kind of just disappointed, especially because I've been doing so well in the competition. Kennedy, um, what's uh, the dish? Um, so I did a homemade pork sausage bon mi. What flavors do you want to come through in here? I want it to be just Indonesian flavors, Vietnamese. Thank you. Grant, so we have your take on 
nachos. How did you cook these? Uh, on this Kamal here. How long? Uh, it would have been probably about seven and a half minutes. Got it. I'm really feeling the pressure, but I'm just hoping that I don't have the worst dish here. All right, so Colby, it looks very sparse. Um, I'm happy with the fries and the Texas toast. Thank you. Jennifer, you had kind of a, a roadblock. Yes. How do you feel that you rebounded from that? Yeah, I, I think uh, Wayne missed the target today. Thank you. I hope. <laughs> Okay, Lizzie, what did you make? I have um, king crab and roasted red pepper hush puppies. And how did you cook these? Um, I fried them. Okay, thanks. Some really good dishes. Based on what was executed, I mean, compelling yeah. stuff. Right, it seems simple, but very difficult. All the green, yep. Nice. Yeah. Wayne, please make your way down here. Pass me that pin. It's time to hand it over to a new owner. Thank you. Great. Right, let's get down to business. There are three dishes tonight that really do stand out. The first dish was made by someone who absolutely brought their game day face to tonight's challenge. Please step forward. MD. Really? This is so exciting that I'm in the top three, but I started today feeling really lost and a little bit insecure. I don't even know why I chose to make donuts today. I just felt like I should be myself and be my most authentic. And I know that Maui will be so proud to see me make my donuts here at MasterChef. Wow. Okay. MD, they should be tears of joy, I'm hoping. I, I think I'm... I, th I think I was doubting myself. Tonight you're in the top three, young lady. There is no need to doubt yourself, okay? Come on. Here we go. Tell us, uh, what is your dish? I made a mixed berry cake donut trio, topped with fresh rosemary, fruity cereal, and edible flowers. You're the only one that had the tenacity to do a dessert. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's eye-catching. It's captivating. They look stunning. Mahalo, chef. Let's dig in. MD, what you've shown is great technical flair. The actual cake mix is beautiful, and it's just light. It's delicious. Girl, I love these. <laughs> Thank you so much. They taste very, almost like feminine and delicate to me. And I would certainly consider this something that is elevated stadium food, so. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love the playfulness of the composition. This is something that you should have fun with. And that's what you do when you go to a stadium. So I love that. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, it's a very professional creation. The icings are amazing. Good job. My All right, so the second dish that we're highlighting tonight, her smart use of seafood really made her shine. Please come forward, Bryn. I am so excited to be called up. Lobster rolls are classically New England, and this might be one of the best dishes I have made so far. I made a lobster roll with a whole tempura battered lobster claw accompanied by sweet potatoes and celery slaw. Beautiful. I mean, it just looks appetizing. This definitely looks delicious. Yeah, I love the look of the bun that's stuffed really well. Mm -hmm. It shows that you really worked to elevate this. Thank you. Shall we? This is really good. It's tender, it's cooked nicely, and honestly, my favorite thing was the claw. It's excellent. Thank you so much. It's executed to perfection. I mean, this is just a professional, delicious dish. Thank you. This has some really interesting spices that you put in there, Thank so you. I commend you for that. Um, it's flawless, just from the technique of the claw and then the chips. The execution is very well thought out. I think it's one of your best dishes so far in this competition. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, guys. Go, Brent. Woo! Woo! Go, Brent. 
The final dish that we want to taste was from someone who stood tall and strong under the pressure tonight. Please come forward. Please come forward. Jennifer, and you can thank Wayne on your way up. I can't stop smiling. I mean, this is the best feeling ever. I'm so happy. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you throw at me. I can overcome it and I'm here to stay. Okay, Jennifer, tell us what you made. I've made a pulled pork barbecue sandwich with a blackberry barbecue sauce and a tangy slaw. Visually, it looks beautiful. I love the, the elevation. I'm just amazed you got that pork braised. It looks very appetizing. Shall we? Shall we? Jen, it's delicious. I love it. You got something really exciting there with that blackberry barbecue sauce. Let's get that absolutely clear. Thank you. It's a really tasty dish. I'm getting that heat right now on the back of my palate, which I love. The flavors are here, so you nailed it. Thank you. This is impressive considering the adversity that you had to face this evening. But that's what super moms do, right? You make it happen. The softness of the pork, the tanginess and sweetness of the barbecue sauce. Good job. Well done. Thank you. Let the games begin. Right, all of you, please give us a moment, because right now we need a very serious chat. Excuse us. Uh, right, three amazing dishes. MDs, the donuts. They were bloody delicious. Mm -hmm. Brins, lobster roll. It was very professional. Everything about it was spot on. Yeah. And then uh, Jennifer's shredded pork. Yeah. I'm amazed you got to that standard. Yeah. yeah. I hate this bar. We have our winner? Yeah. yeah. MD, Bryn, Jennifer, tonight you three clearly cooked the top dishes across tonight's challenge. But the best dish of the night was cooked by... Bryn, congratulations. MD, Jennifer, well done. Please head back to your stations. Great job. Really good job. Thank you so much. Bryn, well done. Come up here and get this immunity pin. Woo! Amazing. Thank Seriously. you. I'm so excited. First time winner, this is huge. Please make your way up to the balcony. Thank really good you. job. Every chef in this kitchen is incredible. This really shows that I deserve to be here. This is a dream come true. Bryn, you are safe from elimination across the next challenge. Well done, well deserved. Now, we felt there were three dishes tonight that really failed to understand the challenge. The first dish, this individual did not seem as on it as they normally are. So we're a little bit shocked. Please make your way down. Colby. Them calling me up for the bottom three, I'm not surprised at all. I think me being so used to stadium food, I couldn't even fathom elevating these foods. Sorry, y'all. I just made the top 10. This one little hiccup cannot define my entire time in the MasterChef kitchen. So I made a Texas patty melt with cabbage and carrot slaw and french fries. Yeah, unfortunately, everything about this from appearance is wrong. The fries are anemic. The coleslaw looks like poorly cut crudite. A patty melt should be more meat than bread. And this is the opposite of that. I agree. Shall we? The burger actually tastes good. Yeah, I just love the, the amount of cheese you actually put on with the meat. But yeah, other than that, I can't go anywhere else positive. I know. It definitely tastes better than it looks. But the rest of it, it just, I mean, you know. I know. Colby, I'm sorry, but it's been one of your worst performances. I'd just rather you focus on the patty melts and forget the sides. It's just not a time to make mistakes like this. Thank you. Thank you, Colby. Thank you. Okay, the second dish that we need to taste further had some elements that were, let's say, undercooked. Please come forward. Grant. This is my second time in a row being called to the bottom, and I gotta be honest with you, it hurts. 
I'm upset that I'm back here again. I'm ready to defend it to the judges, and I hope they understand where I was going with it. Okay, Grant, tell us what you made. I made pulled pork stuffed tetelas with a red and green salsa and queso blanco. Tetelas is something that's very particular to Oaxaca, and I can tell you right now that it has way too much masa. Okay. Visually, you can see elements, the corners where the masa is still undercooked, but we got to taste them. You can tell, right? Yeah. You can see the raw dough. And these are totally raw. It hits you like a sledgehammer. It's like the actual taste of raw dough. The only thing that's really saving you is that you actually got the pork tender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the masa is completely all kinds of messed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, saving grace here would have been to make it a tester, so then you would have known. You gotta start thinking that way or these mistakes can happen. Thank you, Chef. You can see how raw that masa is and there's just nothing worse. But damn it, the actual pork is delicious. Mm -hmm. But now, ending the top nine is not the time to be too clever. Remember, Grant, that ambition got you here. Ambition can also send you home. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Appreciate Thanks, you all. All right, so the final home cook had a confusing concept and sadly, a really poor execution. Please come forward, Lizzie. I'm really disappointed right now. This is my second week in a row in the bottom. I'm hoping that when the judges cut into the hush puppy that it tastes good. I'm just worried that this dish is not elevated enough to keep me in the competition tonight. Lizzie, can you please describe your dish? I made king crab hush puppies with a roasted red pepper sauce and sweet potato chips. Lizzie, I got excited when you picked up that Alaskan king crab, but you've done yourself an injustice by enclosing it inside that hush puppy. Shall we? How long do you cook them for, Lizzie? Um, six to seven minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. This is raw, you can't really even eat this. Damn. How long did you cook them for? Um, six to seven minutes. Oh my God. This is raw, you can't really even eat this. It's dense. It should be light and fluffy and airy. I mean, just even the simple stuff, the chips are burnt. I actually like the sauce, by the way. The sauce is delicious. Thank you. I mean, look, it's overcooked on the outside, raw on the inside. Lizzie, unfortunately, you've taken the most expensive crab anywhere in the world and turned it into something that looks like it's come out of a can. The pepper sauce is delicious, but there's nothing elevated stadium here. Yeah. What a shame. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Sorry, Lizzie. Uh, Colby Grant, uh, Lizzie, we all need a moment. Excuse us, please. OK, Colby. There wasn't a patty melt. There no. was just spinning and mistakes. I don't know what he did with an hour. Yeah. And then Lizzie over here, I'm, uh, and there's someone here that should have a great grasp on how to celebrate Alaskan cake crab yeah. should be here. I love you guys. You guys are the best. How about Grant's dish? He's cooking out of his league in the last two weeks. Are we unanimous on yeah. our decisions? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Colby Grant, Lizzie. Ooh, three underwhelming dishes that just didn't live up to the elevated stadium food. And after discussing at length all three of your dishes, the person leaving, MasterChef, is... Lizzie. Colby Grant, say goodbye to Lizzie and head back to your stations, please. Okay. Love you so much. Goodbye. Okay,
Busy tonight. Unfortunately, the actual recipe for those hush puppies was doomed from the start. And the elevation of that Alaskan king crab, the gift from home, sadly uh, wasn't the hero. Lizzie, you made it to the top 10, so be proud. Thank you. We say it every night, your smile absolutely lights up this kitchen and we are gonna miss you, you know that. This was the most incredible experience of my life. Come and say goodbye, my darling. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was so good. Thank you. We love you, Lizzie. Thank you, guys. Thanks for all the help. Keep on keeping on. I'm really sad that my MasterChef journey is over, but I'm so proud to have made it to top 10. I never would have dreamed that this was possible. Four yeses. Congratulations. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Lizzie, the very, very cake. The execution is absolutely spot on. You know, that's a patisserie's absolute dream right there. I have made the most incredible memories here at the MasterChef kitchen. And representing the West has meant everything to me. I came out of Alaska just a little fish, and what I have done here has truly changed my life. It's for everything, okay? I am never going to forget this experience. Love you, Lizzie. I love, love you guys so much. Love you, Lizzie. Bye, guys. Next time, the top nine face off in a smoking hot challenge. Woo! You have to cook a restaurant quality barbecue plate. Bryn, you get to pick one cook to be safe from elimination tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Get your proteins on. Holy You realize how close the finale is, right? I didn't think I'd make it past additions. This is not happening. You know what you're doing over there? Stop. She's grilling oysters. Whoop. You played the grill like a piano. Talk about presentation. This is like, boom. That sauce completely got lost. It's totally amateurish. One potato, two potato.